Hello. I hope you are finding something to do on this rainy and gray Wednesday, March 25th. Um, something I want to do is I want to read some stories to you. We'll start off easy here with a book called Who Said Red? Who Said Red? by Mary Sorfozo, illustrated by Keiko Narahashi. Who said red? Who said red? Did you say red? A Santa red? A stop sign red? A cherry berry very red? Did you say red? Yes, I said red. You don't mean green? Look, here is green. A pickle green. A big frog green. A leaf, a tree. A green bean green. Did you say green? No, I said red. Now, who said blue? Could it be you? A blue sky blue. A blue eye blue. A bowl, a ball, a bow, a ball, a blue jean blue. Did you say blue? No, I said red. Well, hello, yellow, bright and mellow. Sunshine yellow, fun time yellow. Lemonade and daisy yellow. Did you say yellow? No, I said red. Not purple then? Or brown? Or pink? Not orange? Or black? Or white, I think. Tell me again just what you said. Did you say red? Yes, I said red. The end. Was your favorite book was your favorite color in that book? If it wasn't, what's your favorite color? What kinds of things can you find that are that color? All right. We'll move from colors, we'll move on to shapes. Now this is a this is not just about shapes, this is about shapes that have feelings and wants, and a certain shape that wants 
quite a bit more than he has. This one is called The Greedy Triangle by Marilyn Burns. Some of you may have read this in school. The Greedy Triangle. Once there was a triangle that was, as most triangles are, always busy. The triangle spent its time holding up roofs, supporting bridges, making music in a symphony orchestra, catching the wind for sailboats, being slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. What other things can triangles do? The triangle's favorite thing, however, was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way I can always hear the latest news, it said, which I can tell my friends. The triangle's friends liked hearing the news. One day, the triangle began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the triangle went to see the local shapeshifter. How may I help you? The shapeshifter asked the triangle. I think if I just had one more side and one more angle, said the triangle, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the triangle into a quadrilateral. What does that word mean, quadrilateral? What's another name for that shape? Life changed in a wonderful way. The quadrilateral was happy with all the new things it could do. The quadrilateral could be a baseball diamond, or first, second, or third base. It could take a position on a checkerboard or a chessboard. It could be a television screen, a computer screen, or a movie screen. It could frame windows, or frame pictures, and much, much more. What else could a quadrilateral do? The quadrilateral's favorite thing, however, was to be the pages of a book. I learned so many interesting stories that way, it said which I can tell my friends. The quadrilateral's friends liked hearing the stories. Oh, look. There's a quadrilateral right here. But one day, the quadrilateral began to feel dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the quadrilateral went back to the shapeshifter. How may I help you now? The shapeshifter asked the quadrilateral. Hmm, I think if I had just one more side and one more angle, this said the quadrilateral, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the quadrilateral into a pentagon. Life changed in a wonderful way. The Pentagon was happy with all the new things it could do. On a baseball diamond, the Pentagon could be home plate. It could be a section on a soccer ball or appear inside whenever someone drew a five-pointed star. <clears throat> the Pentagon's favorite thing, however, was to be the headquarters of the United States military near Washington, D.C. I hear all the top secrets that way, it said. It's too bad I can't tell them to my friends. The Pentagon's friends couldn't help feeling left out. After a while, 
Time seemed to pass slowly for the Pentagon, and it became dissatisfied. I'm tired of doing the same old things, it grumbled. There must be more to life. So the Pentagon went back to the shapeshifter. So you're here again, the shapeshifter said to the Pentagon. Now what would you like? I think if I just had one more side and one more angle, said the Pentagon, my life would be more interesting. That's easy to do, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the Pentagon into a hexagon. Life changed again in a wonderful way. The hexagon was happy with all the new things it could do. The hexagon fit in as, a, as floor tiles in houses and patios, and fancy crackers at parties and picnics. It worked as the socket of certain bolts, and the prongs of certain wrenches. The hexagon's favorite thing, however, was to be a cell in a beehive. I love watching bees as they buzz in and out, it said. The hexagon spent so much time in the beehive, it was too busy to talk to its friends. The friends missed the hexagon and couldn't help feeling ignored. Let's see some of the things you can be the hexagon. Ooh, they didn't say anything about that hexagon. What's that? Again and again, the shape became restless, dissatisfied, and unhappy with its life. Again and again, it returned to the shapeshifter for more sides and more angles. The shapeshifter agreed to turn it into one shape after another. A heptagon, an octagon, a nonagon, a decagon, and on and on. We've got our heptagon here with seven sides, an octagon with eight, a nonagon right here with how many do you think? And a decagon with how many? Finally, the shape had many, many sides and many, many angles. Its sides were so small that it had trouble keeping its balance. Its friends couldn't tell which side it was on and began to avoid the shape. I wonder what you call a shape with that many sides. One day, when the shape was going down a hill, it began to roll. Faster and faster it went, screeching around corners, crashing into fences and trees, colliding with bicycles, and terrifying walkers. Oops, there we go. There you are. At last, the shape came to a stop. It felt tired and dizzy, lonely and sad. Enough, thought the shape. I don't know which side is up. I can't keep my balance. My friends don't want me around. The shape could no longer remember why it had been so unhappy as a triangle. Very carefully, it made its way back to the shapeshifter. Aren't you happy yet? The shapeshifter asked. I want to be a triangle again, said the shape. I'm not surprised, said the shapeshifter. Poof! The shapeshifter turned the shape back into a triangle. The triangle was delighted to have its old shape back again and kept itself very busy. Once again, it held up roofs, supported bridges, made music in a symphony orchestra, caught the wind for sailboats, became slices of pie and halves of sandwiches, and much, much more. And still, the triangle's favorite thing was to slip into place when people put their hands on their hips. That way, I always hear the latest news, it said. 
which I can tell my friends. Its friends liked hearing the news and were glad the triangle was back in shape. The end. We saw a lot of shapes in there. Let's go back to this one. The one with so many shapes. I wonder how many sides are here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that sixteen? Did I count that right? What do you call that shape? I don't know. I wonder if you can figure that out. The sixteen again? That doesn't sound right. No. Anyway. All right. We're going to take a quick break here. Be back in about uh, ten minutes, and we're going to start Lewis Sacker's award-winning book, Holes. I'll see you soon. <laughs>